Now here we're going to look at rotary hydroponics, which just as the name implies, applies a, a wheel that rotates around a central light source here. So there's nutrient solution in the bottom and this rotates through very slowly and allows the plants to get that full exposure and doesn't need a reflector on that light. It's giving that 360 degrees of light for the operation. Now the Ferris wheel concept is kind of the idea to think about when we're talking about these rotary systems. The goal is to maximize space and light use on a very small footprint, ideally get a big yield. While the speed of rotation is slow, you can still see it. And I try to show that here where we can kind of see the world turning, uh, but it's very slow in the uh, rotation that it does. And this is the same concept here as uh, the rotary form of hydroponics. Overall, this is not well suited for large scale production. Uh, it's not a good option for plants that grow very tall because they're limited. And as a result, sadly, this isn't very practical. So while it may look really cool and interesting, uh, we could see all the root systems here going right around and being picked up that nutrient solution, not very practical. And if plants are growing very tall, uh, they're gonna run into the light and get tangled and then cause all sorts of issues. So again, very limited in what it can be produced for, it does look kind of neat and does allow to maximize a footprint, but again, not great for large scale operations and really not widely used.